When people think about drinking water treatment, thoughts almost immediately turn to chlorine. Chlorine is responsible for treating over 90% of the world's drinking water. Chlorine does, however, have its limitations. Very high levels of the biocide have to be used in order to carry out things like pre-oxidation and final disinfection. And those high levels of chemicals can cause undesirable disinfection byproducts to be produced. These include trihalomethanes, chlorinated organics, or in some cases, bromate. All of these compounds are environmentally persistent and in many circumstances can cause health problems. Unlike chlorine, chlorine dioxide reacts by a completely inorganic pathway, meaning that the disinfection byproducts are both predictable and easy to manage. When discharged into salty water environments, chlorine dioxide will degrade to chloride in less than five minutes. In previous years, chlorine was applied directly to water directly from gas chlorination. That's no longer acceptable in a number of jurisdictions due to a variety of safety and security reasons. Today, chlorine tends to be applied either using sodium hypochlorite, electrochlorination or chloramination-based treatments. In warmer temperatures, sodium hypochlorite can lose over half of its strength within as little as 10 days. That makes it extremely difficult to apply in very warm climates. Chlorine dioxide is generated in situ at the point of use. That makes it an extremely safe and cost-effective alternative to chlorination and chloramination. Scott Mass are leading the way in applying chlorine dioxide in an innovative and cost-effective fashion for a number of municipal water disinfection projects around the world. In a large number of surface water disinfection sites across the UK and Europe, Scott Mass are applying chlorine dioxide as a direct alternative to chlorine for pre-oxidation of drinking water. This reduces the level of trihalomethanes and other chlorinated organics that could be produced in the drinking water. In the Middle East, Scott Mass are applying chlorine dioxide in order to reduce the levels of bromate in drinking water. This is both on reverse osmosis and thermal desalination plants. Scott Mass are involved at a very early stage in the design of municipal water disinfection systems using chlorine dioxide. Our process engineers are involved in HAZED, HAZOP, and LOPA analysis of the system, and that allows us to design the correct levels of safety, security, and to ensure that the system is as efficient as possible.